What's up y'all, Animated Heroes here, and this time I'm going to be doing another unboxing video, but before I get to the unboxing, I decided since it's just one box, I might as well go ahead and show you guys a little bit more, and I figured what better way to do that than to show you guys some of the things that I've picked up lately, and uh, I mean, nothing major, but just some anime stuff, a couple comic book things, a couple DVDs, but anyway, with that said, I'll get right on into it. First things first, I picked up Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. As you all know, I'm a very big Batman fan. Um, I saw the movie in theaters. I liked Ben Affleck as Batman. I definitely liked Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. And also, I liked Henry Cavill as Superman. I got the extended cut, which is the 30 more minutes. I'm hearing that it definitely does the movie a whole lot more justice than just seeing it in theaters. So, um, I kind of got my hopes up for watching it. I still haven't watched it yet, even though I've had it for a few days. But, uh... Yeah, um, got the Blu-ray version. Nothing special about it. Uh, two hours of extras. I think this is only on the Blu-ray, so if you do want to see it, feel free to pick up the uh, Blu-ray. Movie is rated R. Hmm, I didn't know that, but uh, yeah. Anyway, theatrical version was 13, so that might be some of the stuff they cut out. But yeah. Anyway, like I said, great movie. I loved it. So uh, yeah, you guys should definitely pick it up if you get the chance, and I hope you liked it. Now, I'm pretty sure this is something everyone had to pick up, the superhero or vigilante of the year, Deadpool. I don't know a single soul that said that this movie was bad. Um, If you think this movie is bad, uh, you're probably just hating on it for some reason. But yeah, had to pick this up. I waited way longer than I should have. I should have got this movie a while ago. But uh, yeah, anyway, I still haven't rewatched, as you can tell, with all the light that's reflecting on it, uh, the plastic's still on. So yeah, um, pick this up. I love this movie. Ryan Reynolds definitely did a great job. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, I don't know what you were doing because you're definitely missing out. But I don't think there's too many people that haven't. But yeah, anyway great movie go pick it up if you haven't already another thing i picked up both seasons of tokyo ghoul um i love this show i think it's really great um for you guys who haven't seen it i highly recommend it uh the first season is pretty gruesome the second season is all right mediocre i suppose but when it comes to like torture and blood and gore the first season definitely is pretty bad on it but uh either way good anime i really like it i highly recommend it so for you guys who are looking for an anime that has a good story to watch i definitely think you should check it out um i finished these up pretty quickly because i was highly into the show so uh yeah really great but i'm uh, moving right along next thing i got this tokyo ghoul um got this pretty cool shirt i love this shirt um i got it from spencer's as you can see right there i'm a large yeah for those of you who don't know um got Kaneki on it it's white man Tokyo Ghoul at the bottom this shirt is just freaking awesome I don't care what anybody says man when I first saw this I knew I had to get it I put it off the first time but uh second time I seen it I said nah I'm gonna pick it up and the funny thing about it is I actually was gonna buy it at Hastings and they ran out of large so I couldn't get it there but went in Spencer's and I saw it and so I said I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and yeah don't regret it I'll be wearing it in one of my videos pretty soon so for you guys that are watching you'll be seeing it next thing I got Tokyo Ghoul while I'm on the topic of that uh got some Tokyo Ghoul socks don't judge me um actually these were the ones that I bought the Naruto ones because I don't have any low top socks so I bought these Naruto ones and funny thing is as I was checking out the guy said, well, if you get one pair of socks, you can get another one for half off. So I said, well, I'm buying a Tokyo Ghoul shirt, so I might as well get some Tokyo Ghoul socks to go with it. So ended up picking these up, got about 12 pair of new socks now. So I'll be pretty much anime head down to the feet, basically, unless I get some shoes, which I definitely need some anime shoes. I think that'd be pretty cool, but they'll probably be expensive. So, yeah, I'm going to pass on that. Another thing I picked up yesterday, Hot Topic exclusive, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Um, I really don't collect pops like that. Not my thing, but I don't know. I saw this and it just looked so cool. And I think what really talked me into getting it was uh this right here, Hot Topic exclusive. I know I'm not going to find it anywhere else. So I said, yeah, sure. 
why not i'll go ahead and pick it up and not disappointed at all um also um beerus is the next one in the line i guess i don't know i'm hoping they make vegeta if they make vegeta it's definitely getting dot but i thought beerus was a san diego comic-con exclusive i guess not or maybe it's a different version uh i don't know either way i thought this thing was pretty cool so it was definitely worth the purchase and last but certainly not least picked up haikyuu volume one um for those of you who don't know this is probably my most favorite anime of all because i don't know this anime just from very beginning it caught me um and it's definitely something different i get tired of watching action and fighting anime all the time so i branched out a while ago it started with free i don't care if you don't like it but it started out with free and then i got into the sports anime kind of thing so i said whatever i'll keep checking it out and as of right now i just watched this i'm going to get into kudo no basket and also i want to watch diamond no ace but it has a whole lot of episodes but uh yeah for the people who watch haikyuu i think it goes right up until right before they meet nishinoya so uh yeah if you do know what haikyuu is then you know what i'm talking about but anyway yeah i picked this up at barnes and nobles yesterday it was 9.99 great price but uh yeah and anyway with that said i'll go ahead and get right into what you guys want to see which will be the unboxing now for what you've all been waiting for the unboxing of the video i will tell you right now don't get your hopes up too high because it's a figure that you guys have already seen me with i will say that but i'll explain that in just a sec anyway go ahead grab my box cutter and let's get this thing open by the way uh this is from my boy grown man toys on instagram so if you're not following him i don't know what you're doing he's a very awesome guy and he's definitely loyal man we made a trade for this i got rid of a figure for him and he hooked me up with this so uh if i can get this box open complicated ass box let's see come on come on probably the hardest box i've ever had to open uh what the hell all right there we go gotta open the other side here got me working for a figure that i've already got there we go Alright, show you guys what's inside here. And boom, damn, he's got it covered in plastic. Pretty sure y'all can already tell what it is though. But if you can't, here it is, my boy SH Figure Arts freaking Sasuke. One of my favorite figures. And it's probably simply because he's my favorite anime character, which is why I had to get this. He, as I said, is my favorite anime character of all time. And I had two of these, but I needed some money at the time, so I got rid of my brand new one that I had sealed, and then I realized that was a mistake. So when I found the opportunity to get this guy back, I made that quick trade with Grown Man Toys, and now here it is again, SH Figure Art Sasuke. I love this guy. I know there are some complaints about the Naruto line. I don't care. This figure is maybe biased, but this is a 10 out of 10 for me, and I can't wait for the new one that's coming out. So anyway... There is my unboxing along with a couple other things that I got. Uh, I'm about to go put this guy in the top of my closet. Got a brown shipper. I'm going to put him in because I'm not even taking him out of the package. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm Animated Heroes. Hope you guys like the video. If you do, don't forget to like. If you don't like it, like it anyway because it's an unboxing and it shows some of the things I got in my collection. So yeah, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Animated Heroes. Animated underscore heroes for those of you who don't know and i will talk to you guys later peace